Are you recording this? Hey, good evening everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I try to make at least one video a day and that's pretty much it. And this is going to be my one video and today is the first video of the year 2024. So uh, uh, I'm excited. I made a short video earlier. It, it's just unbelievable. Uh, I hit 3,000 subscribers on New Year's Eve. So somebody on uh, New Year's Day, like when the, the clock went midnight, somebody hit subscribe to get 3,000. So it was sitting at 298, 299. And when the alarm, when the countdown hit one, somebody did that for me. I don't know who it is. Uh, I wish I know who subscribed, but I, I, it doesn't say it. So I don't know who it is. But it, it literally at midnight, I got 3,000 subscribers. That's crazy. <laughs> That's just what is the art of that, you know? Um, so I'm excited. Thank you for everyone out there who subscribe and stuff like that. And one thing I love about the subscriber that I have here, uh, the 3,000 people here. Uh, I'm pretty sure you know, there's a couple hundred of people. I just don't know who they are. But pretty much I knew majority of the people. Uh, majority of the people in the, out of the 3,000 subscribers, I have either interact, talk to them, or, or at least participated you know, in, in their, their investment journey. So I'm really happy with that. And I feel like it's a different number. You know, uh, somebody else and their subscriber number, they, they can go up to 10,000, 30,000. But... I don't know how much connection they have with with the guy who actually create the videos and stuff like that. Um, so it's this is interesting. Uh, I'm I'm just so happy with it. And uh, and so by the way, happy New Year's for everyone out there. Happy New Year, Dwayne and Mister Three Hundred. <laughs> how how you say your name? S C S U or how you? S C S U. S C S U. Okay. And Todd, uh, happy New Year. Happy okay. New Year, everyone. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to share about what my my position here and then what my game plan is for 2024. So let's let's recap a little bit. Uh, when I started in January 2023, my child Schwab account was zero, and I have $1,200 in there. It, I only put 1000 but USA gave me $200 credit, so I got $1,200 in child Schwab, and I bought, you know, I, I can't remember... Uh, you know, some funds I, I just don't make. I bought Coca-Cola, I bought Altieri Group, I bought uh, Realty Income. There's a whole bunch of things that I bought. Um, but by by February, I made about $30. <laughs> I'm like, oh. So this year, it's a little bit different. My portfolio is a lot bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm, um, I'm going to take at least $2,000 to buy one single fund and let's let's well first let's show you my portfolio real quickly here and uh so currently i have seventy four thousand. i have thirty nine thousand dollars in margins like i said i have twenty thousand dollar coming in late on in february so that's why i'm not worried about this margin and plus i'm getting five thousand dollars a month so this margin literally can pay it off pretty quickly um and so that so slowly i'm, I'm slowly just going to decrease this amount a little bit uh, and the market value is 114. So once I essentially my current value uh, plus the margin that come out to be the total market value 114. All right. So that's my portfolio, and I'm very happy. Now I'm down 8,000. The reason I'm down by 8,000 is mainly to Tesla uh, and and Clips. So all these guys combined with these guys, uh, it's it's why I'm down you know 8,000 dollar. All right. Let me sort it out. Uh, all right. Yeah. So Clips and Tesla. That's a big. That's a big player. All right. So um, let's take a look at my uh, portfolio here real quickly. So far, I I bought this. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep owning so far. Uh, so if this price drop like eight dollars or seven, uh, my cost average is six dollar. So if it come to seven dollar, I, I obviously I'm gonna buy more of it. That's that's the reason why I want to play with my margin, use margin to buy these things, right? And Tesla, uh, I'm not going to touch Tesla until Tesla price come around 220 again. When it's 220, then I buy some more. Uh, just keep buying it on when it's coming down low. Neo, uh, I I have a I sold put for uh, for $8 price uh, strike price uh, that expired in January 26. I did make some penny. I made some money out of this, but. If this thing go true, I would have a hundred share of Neo. Now, so so far Neo is the same way. 
I, it's just for me to learn how to do cover call. So essentially, I'm calling. I'm doing cover call on SoFi. I'm doing uh, put on Neo. That's that's essentially it. So I can learn how to do it. Uh, can you? I probably end up selling. Can you? Because I'd rather take that money and buy uh, another another technology company. Uh, uh, Sumai Sumai car company. Uh, another EV car company. So I'm thinking about buying that. Rivian, of course, I love Rivian. I used to own Rivian. If you watch at the beginning, like five in March, I bought a lot of Rivian, but I sold it out. I bought, I bought, I had them for like seven bucks. Just think about that. Rivian, seven bucks, but now it's twenty three. Uh, Palantirs, you have continued to feed feed the beast. So I, I have five share each night now, but as soon as like like right now, Palantir prices drop on Tuesday. If the price continue to drop, I probably buy one more share. I'm just buying one share here, two share there. No rush. Once I get a hundred share. Of, uh, of Tesla and all these funds, I'm going to do cover call on these guys. So definitely in Tesla. Once I get once I get about a hundred share of Tesla, I don't need to do I don't I don't need any of these guys anymore. I'm just maybe I just sell them out and just so I could just focus only a cover call on Tesla. Um, that's the game plan. That's like a long term game plan. It's fun. It's fun. Something to keep me busy. Collect a few uh, few pennies from on a weekly option trade. So that's something. But my core fun is really my uh, my ETF my ETF is what my in what I call my income fund these guys generate me monthly dividends and uh, and this is where I'm going to retire and live off so um, currently I got five thousand dollars that five thousand dollars comprised of Tesla clip and QQY okay? and uh, so my game plan is I get five thousand dollar I'm going to put two thousand dollar into IWMY so last month I put uh, in December for January, I I bought um, two thousand dollar, which is a hundred share. Okay. Now I spent a little bit more too. I bought a little bit of Chappie, a little bit of everybody. So, but I spent two thousand dollar on IWM. Guess what? In Jan in Jan uh, in February, I'm going to spend two thousand dollar. I'm going to get another hundred share. So that was coming up to be two thousand uh, two hundred share. So every month I'm getting a hundred share. So that take play that will take about. Uh, Ten months to get a thousand share, um, but uh, like I said, that's that's just a normal cycle. But once I get twenty thousand dollar into my portfolio, I'm just gonna buy a thousand share right off, right out of bat. You know, just right, right out. Um, but I don't know when that's gonna happen. So it could be February, could be March, whatever. But whenever that money come in, I would just buy it. Okay. So that's that's the game plan. So essentially, I'm gonna get five thousand one hundred. You know, so now I'm not getting. Uh, because QQY price have decreased, so I'm going to continue to feed uh, the beast and continue to feed uh, QQY. I don't need to buy a lot. I just buy you know 10 share, 20 share here and there, you know every month, and I just keep just keep feeding it. Same thing, clip. Um, I I don't need to buy a lot. I just keep buying 10, 20 shares uh, at a time. Uh, maybe spend less than uh, you know a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars. You know that's it. Tesla, same thing. I'm. Uh, I got five thousand dollars. I haven't buy anything. The last time I purchased Tesla, um, I fi- what was back in November. I, I haven't. I haven't touched Tesla. I haven't buy Tesla in a while. Um, ever since it reached five thousand, I just kind of left it alone. Uh, but I'm going to continue to feed that beast again because when Tesla, so the X date for Tesla is coming next week. So when Tesla uh, for next week, I think it's this week. Yes, yeah, this week. So the X date for this week, guess what? This if this price drop to eleven dollar, yeah, I buy I buy something. Every time the price drop on the X date, I'm gonna buy something. Um, but my main effort is IWMY. I'm trying to get that to a thousand share. Eventually, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get a thousand share all across the board, everywhere. I'm gonna get a thousand share in Connie and iSpy and SQY, Feppy and TSLP and JetY. We just take time because. Because I'm I'm slowly building my position, you know, um, buying you know twenty share here, you know, hundred share there, it's just small small position, and um, and then I'm gonna keep adding more funds as new fund come along. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna keep adding more fund. There's eighteen funds just in the yield max family. I would like to own all of them. Uh, I would like to have a thousand share all of them. Obviously, some of them are gonna have more than a thousand share. Uh, some of them are gonna have two thousand share, so they can get get to thousand dollar. My goal is to get a thousand dollar from each one of these funds. Just think about that, a thousand dollar. So some some of them you need a lot of shares, and some of them you need very little share because the dividend pays so high. Um, 
you know, like for Connie, I probably don't need a lot of share because they're paying like almost two dollars, but they pay a dollar more. Um, that's that's a pretty good. But I ideally, I would like to get a thousand share in any market condition. So it what that mean is that if they pay sixty cents, for example, or fifty cents, well, then you need at least fifteen hundred share, one thousand five hundred share, not one thousand share, one thousand five hundred share, just to get a thousand dollar. You know. And that, that, that's something I will play with. I'm going to keep playing that for the rest of my life. That's not going to change. But by that time, I'm talking about I'm going to make ten to $20,000 a month, you know. So I'm not, I'm not worried about it. Uh, I'm on pace to make $10,000 a month at the end of this year because uh, I'm $5,000 a month right now. When IWMY, when I put, uh, when I put money, either I put money into it or reach... Uh, you know, at some point it's going to reach another thousand. That's six thousand dollars a month. You know, it's going to speed up a little bit. Um, obviously, if I can use margin right now, and just, but I'm just trying to reduce the uh, the uh, the margin cost. And okay, one of the reason why I'm reducing the margin, one of the reasons, something to consider. And I didn't I didn't have this opportunity back in in May because it happened. I'm going to take a look. I'll show you in Tesla. So this year to date, all right? Uh, so somewhere around May, the entire economy dropped. Wow, Tesla didn't drop really much. Uh, March or March? Right, let, let's just look at the, let's just look at uh, QQY. Oh, QQQ. Uh, somewhere around, wow, it doesn't show it either. Maybe it's SP5. It's the bank. Whenever the bank failure, anybody know when the bank failure is? Maybe it's spy. Yeah, somewhere around this time frame, March or February, it, it was a huge drop. Like the, the entire, everybody was down hard. And that was a great time to buy everything. And and I, that's why I want to pay off my margin for that situation. So, I'll, because what happened is somewhere around March, when Tesla price was like 183, 160, like that, I couldn't afford it. I, I, I didn't have money to buy Tesla. But now I have money. Now that's the big difference. Now I have money. So I'm going to put $2,000 in IWMY. The other $3,000, I'm just paying down my, my margin. And so what happened when I need to use that money uh, to buy Tesla, to buy whatever, if Tesla dropped to 180, below 200, I'm buying it. I am buying it. I'm gonna buy if it. I'm buy, buy a little bit at a time. You know, I'm gonna buy ten share, five share, ten share here. But once it dropped to one one fifty three, oh my god! If I drop one fifty three, I'm using. I'm 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 just gonna use like at least sixty percent of my margin. I have income now to pay pay that margins. So that's why I'm not too worried about these things. Uh, that's that's why that's why going after cash flow is so so important. Uh, so important. Uh, I, I people, pe this is why people like they just make fun of me when they when they talk about you know that everybody has an investment strategy. My investment strategy is going after cash flow. I'm generating income so I can do things. I have option to do things. That's why I'm doing it. Um, now the other thing is just don't buy anything at all. If I don't buy anything, I will pay off the margin uh, essentially in you know in in three four months you know in, in five months. Uh, and and the margin will just come down naturally by its by itself, uh, but no, that's not the plan. The plan is I just need to keep buying funds. Uh, I spend I'm going to spend roughly two thousand dollars. The rest of the margin is going to pay the uh, the actual uh, loan the, the margin loans itself. All right? Yeah. So that's what I, I use it for emergency when when not emergency for opportunity. So when the entire stock market dropped, like an example, when Tesla dropped to 160, guess what? Go ahead and drop to 160 now, man. For 2024, you drop to 160, I'm buying you. I mean, I am buying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy like a, like twenty thousand dollar, thirty thousand dollar. You know, my margin go up to almost a hundred thousand dollar, and I'm, and I'm only spending thirty thousand, you know, like off it. Um, yeah, so. I, I have no problem maximizing that thing so I can own a, a really great uh, portfolio and yet I can still pay the margin itself. I don't have to spend my 
in my my paycheck to pay it, you know. So that's the game plan. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm looking into. I want to maximize it, and uh, I'm just I'm just really really happy with the situation I'm in for this year. I still got plenty more year. I got 2024. I'm just working on uh, just working on my precision to get to 10,000 a month. 2025 is when I say I punch out. I'm I'm leaving. So so 2025 is making a break it. So at that point, anything after ten thousand dollar, man, this is this is just, I mean, this is just. Uh, after that, I'm gonna look at paying all the bills off, pay everything, uh, pay off, you know, just uh, accept accept the mortgage. That's probably it. I'm I will at 2025. Uh, uh, when it hit 2025, I'm just I'm just gonna withdraw the money. You know, ten thousand dollars. I'm gonna withdraw the money to pay off everything else. So. And then somewhere around in the summer, when I when I no longer be working, uh, then I will um, guess what? No long, I will just spend. I my my bill would be minimized too, and then I can just travel with that, you know, and just go enjoy life. You know, right? that's that's the game plan, man. That's the, that's 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 the game plan right now. And so I'm I'm just so happy with uh, with the situation I'm in. Um, I hope you are happy with your portfolio, and if you are pursuing high yield dividends like I did, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be happy too because you're getting good cash flow. There's people in my community getting twenty thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars a month, three thousand dollars a month, and pe- there's there's guys making thirty thousand dollars a month, you know, just on these portfolios. So uh, it works. You can you, all the all the haters out there, whatever they want to say, it. I'm just telling you, it works. Uh, that's the crazy part about this. All right. With that, I want to say thank you all for, for listening and watching. And, uh, yeah, so please subscribe and let's, let's go build another, you know, another thousand, uh, members community. And let, let me see how big my, uh, uh, discord is. Now, not everybody in discord are talking. They just like to sit and watch. We're at we're essentially 760, 759 plus 100, so about eight. Wow, that's pretty big. We're getting to be a a, a level. I mean, we're just starting out and we're getting pretty big. Um, that's awesome. I'm really really happy. All right, with that, peace out. Take care, everyone.